today's video I'm going to show you how to remove stuck ball bearings. This method also might work for other types of bearings. So let's start by uh, looking at what makes the ball bearing. Uh, as you can see here we have the outer race, this part. We have the balls itself, we have the crown and we have the inner race. Okay, let's see. Uh, this is outer race, we have balls, we have inner race, and let's zoom in. Okay, just a second. This here, in between two balls, is the crown. Let's talk a little bit about tolerances. Uh, this is 6001 bearing, it's common bearing. Uh, 28 millimeters outer race, 12 millimeters inner race. Uh, to make proper fit for this bearing uh, hole in which it goes, it needs to be 27.99 millimeters. That's minus 100 of a millimeter. The shaft at which it rides, uh, it's 12.01 millimeters, which is plus 100 of a millimeter. This will co this will uh, make uh, so-called press fit, and it will preload the bearing so it will have a proper fit. Now uh, let's see how we can dismantle them. Most of bearings have shielding. Shielding can be from one side, it can be from two sides, uh, it can also be rubber shielded like this, or it may be open ball bearing like this one. Once we have removed the shielding with a knife, maybe use a screwdriver or something pointing sharp, uh, we are left with bearings, uh, crown and races. To remove the crown, I most of the time just use the sharpened nail and I hit it here and it will disassemble. Uh, once we have done this, we are left with the bearings and the balls itself. Okay, let's see if we can zoom. To remove, to remove uh, 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 races, all you have to do is push all the bearing, all the balls on one side, and this is what's going to happen. Now we have this gap through here, which the bearings will just fall out, and you will be left with inner and outer race. So let's say that uh, on this shaft uh, we have inner race that is stuck, you cannot get it out, you tried everything like normal ways, like heating it and it's just stuck, you cannot get it out. So how do we get it out? Well, it's simple, we are going to cut it off with the Dremel cut off disc like this one. If there is no important surface here or here, you can use it like this. Uh, when I say important surface, I mean uh, things like uh, surfaces for other bearings, uh, maybe O-rings or some kind of rubber seal, you know, important surfaces. So, uh, if you have that kind of surface, uh, don't cut it like this, cut it like this. This way, uh, there is a less chance that you are going to damage surface like this. Uh, you can also wrap it in a uh, aluminum foil or uh, uh, copper, copper tubing or uh, something that will protect it, like sheet metal for example. Uh, go 90%, you don't need to cut this 100%, you need to go maybe 90% of this thickness. It's going to weaken the material and with a little bit of heating and uh, hammer and chisel punching, it will come out. Okay, that was the inner race. Now let's go with the outer race. To remove stuck outer race, uh, you are going to need to weld it. Uh, if you weld it like this, like this, uh, weld it on triangle, here, here, and here. Weld it six times, so that's two triangles. When the weld cools off, it's going to shrink the metal and this bearing will come out. 
Uh, there is an uh, interesting tool that you can make. It's very simple to make, so I will demonstrate to you. Unfortunately, I don't have it done finished, but it's a simple tool. So let's see what it made, it's made of. Uh, we have this all threaded rod and one nut. And uh, then we need something heavy, like a weight. A piece of metal is going to do just fine. Drill the hole through it. Uh, through hole and then put it over the thread knot uh, thread <clears throat> as you hammer it's going to pull the bearing out to connect the outer race and this tool of ours take the piece of steel like this drill a hole through hole you can thread it or you can just weld the old threaded rod like this. It's going to work. Uh, to connect this to the outer race, uh, use simple machine screw. Use the file, cut it a little bit and weld it to the bearing like this, to the race. Once it's welded, you will have two of those you can weld it to this rod and as you push that weight it's going to pull out the race this worked for me in the past i hope it will work for you too and uh, now let's uh, talk about uh, less invasive methods that might work so of course you can use wd-40 it's beloved uh, liquid for almost everything but there is also one trick mm, this here is baby oil uh, any kind of baby oil will work the viscosity of baby oil is very thin so it's uh, used as a penetrative oil if you don't have it uh, when you heat up the hole around the bearing it's going to even more reduce the viscosity. It will make more liquid, so it will penetrate and lubricate even better. Uh, if you have rust, uh, you can use uh, citric acid or phosphoric acid to remove the rust first. Uh, okay, so there is another trick that you can use. It's mostly used for bolts and nuts, but it might work and it's a paraffin stick. When you heat up the hole around it or the shaft, uh, you just apply it and it's going to melt. It's going to go inside the hole. It's going to lubricate. This worked very well on the bolts and nuts. It might work on your ball bearings as well. So try it out. So this would be it for me for today's video. Until the next time, goodbye.